Well, well, well. Hasn't it been a while since I made one of these videos for the channel? Certainly has. Let's look at some eBay finds. Some good, some weird, some way overpriced, you know, the usual shtick. Look at this stuff, it's from eBay. First, let's look at some older retro items that you may or may not have known existed, but one thing's for sure, they're all definitely very expensive. Here we have a Kenner Super Powers Batcopter sealed in box. That is a grail for so many people, myself included. I had the Batcopter as a kid, but now I don't have it. And it's one of the few superpowers items that I don't currently have in my collection. I must some days get me that Batcopter. Now judging by the description and the pictures here, this is still a factory sealed Kenner Superpowers Collection Batcopter. You can tell by the yellowing of the tape that when this was purchased at Toys R Us, someone never took it out of the package. Why did... I don't understand. Why did someone never take it out of the package? That always boggles my mind that someone way back in the days when people were certainly collecting a lot less, like collecting now is so much bigger. It is so much more exploded in the last 20 years than it ever was back in 1985. I have to ask myself, A, who bought this Superpowers Batcopter from Toys R Us? And B, why didn't they open it? A kid would have opened this in a heartbeat. I know that I opened mine faster than I could say, Batman's your uncle, Robin's your aunt. But this one stayed mint in the box. Now, if you're not like me, because I would just open it and take it out of the box and then put it back in the box later. If you're someone that wants your items mint in box and you're looking for the best condition box possible, this one might not be the one for you because as you can see, this box has a considerable amount of damage. But face it, this thing's 35 years old. We're lucky it's still in the box. Anyway, judging by that price, I'm certainly never gonna be able to buy this one. Here's a fun one. It's a Superman dune buggy because Superman and Lois might wanna go dune buggying on the beach in California or something like that. Just because Superman can fly everywhere at super speed doesn't mean that he wouldn't enjoy riding a dune buggy. It's funny that this is actually a Superman the movie collectible as well. Clearly not an American collectible because you could tell by the license plate that's not an American or Canadian license plate, but it's a Superman the movie tie-in piece, which is funny because I don't recall Superman driving around in a dune buggy in Superman the movie. Cool looking box art though, you got images of the movie on the one side, you got the Superman the movie S-Shield logo on the top, and then here's the other side of the box, and then the other side of the box, and there's the buggy itself, it's a VW. I wonder, I wonder, oh I wonder, if this is just, and it probably is actually, just a dune buggy that this company had already made, and then maybe they got the license to actually put the S logo on the front, maybe not, I don't really know, but clearly this was not manufactured to be a Superman the movie product. It was just a dune buggy they had that they turned into a Superman product to cash in on the success of the movie. If it's something you're really into and you don't mind shelling out $1,250 for it, I suppose it could be yours. Not something that I would ever buy. Here's one for you. This is a seller I've seen all over eBay for a long, long time. But he's got Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman marionettes. I've always thought that marionettes were kind of creepy, dare I say, but you don't see stuff like this anymore. So stuff like this you really don't see very often because there's really not a lot of examples of this kind of stuff. All three of them are mint in box. So if you're a collector, that's perfect. The boxes are in minty mint condition. Superman there, looking minty mint. You can tell there's the old brown tape on the bottom of the Superman box. So these look like they're original. I don't think They've been played with yet. Yeah, you got the back of the box there. Man, I never could work a marionette. I sucked at running marionettes. I had like an ostrich that was a marionette. I used it like three times and I was like, nope. It just looks like a, a drunken mess. And I, I hung it up and never used it. They got Wonder Woman. These are actually really good as far as the faces go for these. These are impressive face sculpts for back in the day. And then you got Batman. 
Yeah, these are cool. I mean, if I was a kid, I probably would have not bought these. But if I had a buddy that had them, I probably would have pulled them out and tried to use them once or twice, just like the ostrich, and then never touched it again. But they're certainly cool to look at. Like, they would look great in a DC room, like, a you know, your inbox display, or maybe you take them out of the box and have them hanging there as marionettes. These would be, these would be a nice little gift for someone who is a DC fan and a collector. They're, they're $14.99 though. Not like $14.99, but if you look even closer there, $1,499.99. Who are they kidding? Who are they kidding? We know that that is $1,500. Just because you took a penny off, you're not fooling nobody with that. A bit too pricey for me. And really not the kind of thing that I would display around my room here. Unless I found them at like an old yard sale for like a couple dollars a piece. Now let's check up on an old listing that I've been watching for years. Literally years, maybe 15 years, I've been watching this eBay listing. I don't understand how this burnt ass firestorm is still here. I don't know. I tried to contact the dude who listed this. I sent him a message because I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to pick the guy's brain. Why did you list this? Why are you still listing this? Do you think someone's actually going to buy something that is AFA graded 20 that was actually on fire and just looks this terrible because it's like a joke or a novelty item or something like that? And the listing is is funny as always. It says here, he is 100% complete and graded AFA 20 by Toy Grader. The figure was found this way and no added work has been done to it. Work? No work was done to it in the first place. It was just lit on fire. The figure has been doused with lighter fluid and lit on fire back in the 80s. For a few moments, this toy was the most perfect recreation of Firestorm in action figure form. Finding such a figure in this exact condition is rarer than finding one in AFA 60, AFA 85, or even AFA 110. There is only one AFA 20 Firestorm graded in the world. Challenge! Maybe I should try to make an AFA graded 20 Firestorm and load it on eBay too, or take pictures of it or something like that, just to be like, nope! <laughs> now there's two! <laughs> I got one! <laughs> anyway, it's always fun to check up on this listing and just see what it's doing, because someday, who knows? It may sell. Okay, next up we have a classic that can only be described as the rarest DC Universe Classics figure I've ever seen. And that is the DC Universe Classics modern version of the Red Tornado. Now, I know I've talked about him before, and people have tried to troll me saying, oh, I picked him up at Kmart a couple years ago, and I have it. And I say, lies! lies. Nobody else owns this because it never saw a release. So no one picked this up at Kmart. This is a super, super rare figure that I'm not even sure how the one or maybe two of them that exist exist in the first place. The light blue Superman kind of had like a bit of a production run because they were checking on the blue color. They were trying to decide what that blue was going to be. And so a few of those have actually trickled out over the years through eBay. Or maybe you happen to be in China or wherever and then you were at a street market where they sell DC Universe Classics loose and you happen to find one sitting there on the table and they picked it up and then they brought it back to America or Canada and then sold it. That's how I managed to get three. And that's a super rare unproduced figure. The cheetah is a super rare figure, the naked cheetah, because she was kind of mixed in. If you ordered cheetah on Amazon, you may have got the naked version. You may have got the one in the black suit, but the naked one is certainly a lot more rare. However, still not impossible to find. You can always find multiples of her on eBay. However, this modern red tornado is the rarest of the rare. It's only ever $10,000 because of its rarity. I'm pretty sure that this actually might be the only one in existence. If there's more than one, I would I would love to know that, but the rarity of this figure, especially that it's rare and it's also an example on card, this really is, for many DC Universe Classics collectors, the holy grail, the rarest of the rare. I would never be able to afford it. Still, I suppose a collector can dream, can't he? I just hope that whoever buys this messages me someday and says, hey, I bought it. And it's out of package. No, don't take it out of the package. I'm, a, I'm not a mint on card guy, but please don't take this one out of the package. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. 
we've gone through the bowels of eBay enough, found some interesting items, found some possibly overly priced items, and it's been a good time, at least for me. Hopefully you've had one too, and I will see you at the next one. Have a DC day, everybody, and take care.